Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have a Dollar Tree haul I wanted to share with you guys. I found a couple new things that I've never seen before at Dollar Tree and I'm so excited that I found it. Some things that I needed to get for Lennon's Easter basket, my daughter, and a couple things that I needed to get for a baby shower that I'm kind of co-hosting. Um, I'm doing the decorations and the favors, so I need to get a few things. So let's get into this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe, like it, share it, spread the Dollar Tree love. I would really appreciate it. All right. Here we go. The first two things I'll show you, I've never seen before. I'm so excited that I found them. I did see, I think it was Pretty and Flawed um, hauled these. Her channel is so great. She finds the best things at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen like the majority of the things that she's hauled, but I saw these and I loved them. First, I found this little unicorn trinket tray. This is so cute that this was a dollar. I can't even believe it. And then I found the mermaid. And my daughter loves mermaids so much. She has a little mermaid tail that she uses in the pool and she's obsessed with it. And I thought that she would absolutely love these. These were the only two that I saw at mine was the unicorn and the mermaid. I'm not sure if there's more. And these were the only two colors that they had at my Dollar Tree. So these are so great and especially for little Easter baskets. These may end up in a basket delivered to my child. Hopefully she doesn't see this. Uh, I'll just say, you know, these are these are the things that mommy and daddy stuck in. Because you know, the Easter Bunny, he leaves his basket and the mommy and daddy sometimes add a few things here and there that we think that our daughter would like. That's the way it works. Long story short, I think these would make really cute little Easter gifts to kids or teenagers or grown adults because I love them too. In my Dollar Tree, they also had some shirts like kids size shirts. And if you can see, this obviously, you can see just at the top, this writing is a Disney D. I have lived close to Orlando or in Orlando my whole life. I know what Disney font looks like. And of course this was $1. They don't have a lot of selection of sizes, but the material for a dollar as like a play shirt outside, you know, summer's coming, you need play clothes. You can't be a dollar, and they had like guy boy colors too, and lots of different colors and stuff. Definitely be on the lookout for these shirts for your kids. I think they have them in adult sizes too, but the adult ones that I've seen at mine have never felt as soft as these actually do. So um, I was excited to find these. I also got this one that I thought would be so cute, just you know, playing. And um, again, a dollar for these t-shirts, for play shirts. I mean, she could wear this shirt to school too. It's, it's what a great deal. I'm very excited to have found them. Dollar Tree has come out with these little bubble makers before. I actually have never bought them when they've come out, but I've seen that other people have said that they've used them and they worked for them. So I got this one for my daughter. Hopefully this works okay. We'll see. I mean, for a dollar, it's not like a big end of the world thing if it doesn't work. But they also had other characters oh shoot i can't remember i think it was like oh a frog it's not a frog leave in the comments below if you know what the other characters um are for these little bubble ma bubble makers in case anyone else is interested in it we can all help each other out in the comments i really like seeing the comment section you know engaging with one another it's so awesome i recently just joined a Dollar Tree group on Facebook and my mind is like blown. I've never been a part of any of these like Facebook groups that I'm like actively in and I was like, why am I not on this Dollar Tree Facebook group? I watched Sensational Finds and she always talks about her Dollar Tree Facebook group. And so then I searched Dollar Tree Facebook groups and there were so many of them and like I requested or applied to be in the group. I got approved by one of them last night and I was looking at the pages and Oh my gosh, talk about inspiration. There are so, it's better than Pinterest. Like the amount of amazing, really unique, cool DIYs that people are just like posting. And of course there's so many people engaging and like it's really positive and I love seeing that because I just hate seeing videos with comments or pictures with comments that are just mean and spiteful and hateful. I feel like there's no reason for that. 
and I love seeing that the Dollar Tree community is just the exact opposite of that and it makes me so happy because I love being a part of like such an awesome community where we all like a good deal we all like to be artsy and crafty sometimes or you know just have cool things that we find at Dollar Tree I think that's so awesome I just went on a whole little rant but I wanted to say I appreciate every single one of you that watches my channel. My channel recently hit over 15,000 subscribers and it's so crazy to me and I'm so thankful. And I honestly started YouTube thinking that I was gonna do stuff with beauty and makeup and then I quickly realized like, that's not my, I like that, but that's not my passion. Like Dollar Tree is like legit and home decor is my passion. And I've been able to connect with so many amazing people here on YouTube and then through the other social networks will also connect on Facebook or Instagram because I always have that linked down below in the description bar and it's just been an amazing journey and really exciting to be able to know like in my real life there's not very many people that are obsessed with Dollar Tree like me that I hang out with. I have one friend and that's it like the rest well maybe two now because i've kind of converted one but aside from that no one so i love that i have you guys and again i'm just so thankful rant over i'm sorry back to the things that i got but thank you thank you to everyone that has subscribed watched my channel supported me left me nice comments it really means the world to me so a couple other things i picked up for lennon's easter basket is a big thing of bubbles These are the things that she saw so she knows she's getting them but just not until easter so this is the mommy daddy easter basket and this um little squirt gun these squirt guns at, from dollar tree i think they do a pretty good job they use some of them break quickly um i don't remember if we've ever had this one but for a dollar, they will work for a decent amount of time. It just depends on how rough your kids are with them. But I thought this was cute because it was purple. And hopefully it'll be warm enough to be getting in the pool soon. So we always like to use these when we're in the pool. The last thing I picked up for my daughter's Easter basket is just this little um, bucket of chalk. She loves drawing on the sidewalk outside. There's 20 pieces in here. And sure, it's powdery, but I feel like all chalk's powdery. I don't think that this is like any worse than um a name brand one they have the crayola one at dollar tree right now that just is two pieces of chalk and they're bigger but it comes with like a a holder that you stick the chalk in so you don't get your hands all chalky but my daughter could care less about getting her hands chalky so i figure 20 of them is better than just two pieces of chalk so got that the next thing i picked up is this cute little candy dish i just really liked the shape of it and i'm going to use this in my daughter's bathroom for q-tips or cotton pads I should have grabbed two, um, so if I see another one, I'm going to grab another one. But I just think this is such a cute little jar for basically anything you could use it for. But I think it will be really cute in the bathroom. Maybe spray paint it, but I also kind of like it clear. What are your thoughts? Would you keep it clear or would you paint it? Okay, so the rest of the stuff I got are things that I'm planning on using for the baby shower that I am decorating for. It's this upcoming Tuesday, yes, Tuesday in Miami. And I'm so excited for her. It's their first child and it's going to be a little girl or she's a little girl baking in the oven. And the theme of the baby shower is like an indoor garden party. I think it's going to be such a beautiful theme and shower. And you all know I love home decor and some Dollar Tree DIYs. So I picked up a hula hoop from Dollar Tree. It did not look like this. I came home and I spray painted it and I'm going to use it for a DIY for the baby shower. But how like chic looking is this hula hoop just spray painted gold? It's like a, a rose gold color almost. I mean, I kind of just want to take a linen that's outside and spray paint it too because it looks so much cooler like this. I love it. it turned out awesome but I'm not done with it for the DIY, obviously. Another thing I picked up for the shower were these little blocks and they're plastic and these have been spray painted now. Oh gosh, this is not gonna focus. Hold on. I spray painted them. They were like this pink plasticky color and they just did not look very pretty. They also had them in a blue and so I spray painted it the same color as this hula hoop and I'm just gonna have it where it says baby. In their like baby shower party area in Dollar Tree, they also had these little um, uh, pacifiers 
that were also pink and gold, no, not gold, pink and blue and like green and yellow and stuff and they were just like real cheap looking. So I also spray painted these. My plan for these is to loop some ribbon in them and tie them around little um, jars. If you guys are interested in seeing like how I'm going to um, decorate for this baby shower and maybe like the DIYs that I do for the baby shower, because it's also things that you could use, some of it, a lot of it, are things that you could use in your house for spring and stuff like that. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. I would love to share it with you if you do want to see it. So let me know in the comments below. I also picked up this sign not because I want it for your the bees knees or the color I literally just want this block of wood for a dollar I'm gonna spray paint it and I'm going to write welcome I think in it and then have it like kind of laying inside a wreath that I'm gonna have on the front door or the door where you walk into the shower so this is perfect size that I needed and I will just craft it up. The next things I got are all part of the fairy garden stuff that they have at Dollar Tree. I want to create a little area, nothing like big, but just in the baby shower that is like a little fairy garden and have like little twinkle lights going since it's like a garden party and there's going to be little kids there. I thought that would be really cute for them to see like this little like garden, you know, a uh, uh, fairy garden thing. So I picked up this which I just think is so cute. And I've always wanted to make it a fairy garden, so um, this is an excuse for me to be able to use this after the shower for myself. Then I picked up this. I just thought this was so cute. I've seen these things at Michael's so much more expensive. Michael's has a lot more to choose from, but these are still really cute for a dollar. Then I picked up this little welcome um, sign. I thought this was adorable. And then this little bridge. How cute is that little bridge? Oh my gosh, I just loved it. And it has that on both sides. Then I picked up these little fairies to go in there. And I also picked up some of those to kind of place around in there. If it looks a little different, my camera battery died for a second, had to charge it, and so try to make it look exactly the same. Sometimes it doesn't work that way, so that's why if it doesn't. But last thing that I got at Dollar Tree were some of this Dollar Tree floral. This um, wreath obviously isn't from Dollar Tree, and this is not how I'm going to have it. I was just playing around with this floral. Um, obviously, I haven't even taken the tags off, but I got these pink ones, which are um, Dahlia's, and then these purple ones which I think are so pretty I forget what the purple ones are called what are they purple ones are called Queen Anne's Lace and then I got these purple ones that so that they're wildflowers and then another one of those purple kind of got two of each after this haul I will be uploading another haul which will be like a collective haul things I picked up at Michael's Hobby Lobby and where else and two thrift stores so stay tuned for that if you guys are interested in that it's all like spring stuff and things that i will be able to use for the garden party baby shower which is kind of all stuff that you can use for spring so again stay tuned for that if you're interested in seeing the things that i picked up but that is it for today's dollar tree haul i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the things that i picked up i thank you guys so much again for watching and for helping me get to 15,000 plus subscribers it means the world to me and for just being able to share our Dollar Tree love together. I love it. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.